Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 19. In this training module, we're going to be taking a look at our spark timing basics, understanding fundamentally what is going on with our combustion cycle and the spark event and how it plays a role and what we're changing in our spark timing tables to be able to dial in and optimize our engine. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at understanding the fundamentals of spark timing within our combustion cycle. This video is going to be taking a general approach to every kind of petrol engine. It is not going to be necessarily a sniper specific tutorial, but what we're going to learn from this tutorial will apply that knowledge to the future spark timing tutorials coming up here in our sniper course. Now what we're going to do is jump in and first locate the spark timing table in our calibration file. And then we're going to talk about how those values in the table relate within the combustion cycle. What do the values actually mean? What do they represent? I have a nice graphical illustration of the combustion process. So you can clearly see what the spark timing is going to equate to in terms of the values in the table for virtual programming, and then understanding what we're going after when we're dialing in the spark timing in our spark timing table here. So you're likely going to be fitting your sniper system to a carbureted older engine that had mechanical point system and a distributed spark and you're finding you're going to be replacing that in terms of the mechanical spark timing advance we'll actually be able to do this all virtually so in order to better understand all of this this fundamental video here should hopefully help out let's jump in here and take a look at our spark timing table what we're going to do is open up any calibration file within your sniper software and you can go up here into your spark icf if you click on this we're going to find that we have everything related to spark timing popping up here and what we're going to be taking a look at here is our base timing table. We can see the table here is grayed out in the values because it's in the simple mode. Let's just flip it over here into our 2D table. This gives us more programming options within our structuring here in the software. Now, when we're taking a look at the table, this table is going to allow a three-dimensional approach to firing off our spark plug within the auto cycle. What we'll find here is that this table is based on map pressure coming from your manifold pressure sensor, fit it within the Holly system, the sniper box, or the sniper uh, assembly, I should say. And then you're finding that the bottom is going to be engine speed. Now, what we'll find here is that we have values in the table. So we're looking here in the idle region, which would be highlighted in the red right here. This could be considered idle. That's going to be firing off our spark plug 15 degrees before top dead center on our compression stroke. If we move over into our cruise area, where we do typically all of our driving, our value here is going to be firing off the spark plug at 36 degrees before top dead center on our compression stroke. And then if we go into high load full throttle conditions, we'll be firing off our spark plug here at 32 degrees before top dead center. Now, what does this actually mean? Well, coming up on screen here is going to be a nice illustration of what spark timing actually represents within our combustion cycle. So what we're going to find here is that this particular example is going to be a dual overhead cam engine. But the idea in terms of spark timing and the strokes within our auto cycle will be the same. So what we're going to find here in this particular example on this dual cam engine, the intake cam is going to start to actuate the intake valve being open. And that's going to happen on our intake stroke. We'll find that the fuel and an air mixture is going to be drawn into the cylinder as the piston is moving downwards, creating a suction effect. Then at bottom dead center, the piston is going to be changing direction and it's going to be moving upwards towards top dead center on our compression stroke. So we're going to be compressing that fuel and air mixture in our engine as that piston is moving upwards. Now in this particular illustration, we'll find that as the piston is essentially at top dead center or the equivalent in our table here of something like zero degrees of timing we would command in the table, we're finding that the spark plug gets fired off there. And then we create a combustion event. We have our flame front spread across the piston and then the piston is going to be moving downwards on our power stroke. Now we'll find after we finish the power stroke, the piston is going to get to our bottom dead center, it switches over to the exhaust stroke, and then repeat the cycle. The exhaust valve opens, exhaust, the exhaust gas goes out, and then we can repeat the cycle all over again. Now, we want to take a specific look at where we're firing off that spark plug on the compression stroke, because that relates to the values that we're programming here in our spark timing table. So going back to the compression stroke, 
If we're Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.